I turned 40 last year and I felt great and grateful for a life busting at the seams with good fortune. Everything was just perfect. Here we go. I'm in the changing room at Breast Health Network. For Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I agreed to have my first mammogram on Facebook Live. They said that to wipe off your deodorant, <laughs> I think that it can um, affect the way that the mammogram looks at the picture, so. We've got Kathy, <laughs> mammographer, <laughs> and Claire. Claire Turmel, marketing coordinator at Stevenson Cancer Center. This whole thing was her idea. It's the internet, they've <laughs> seen it all before. Yes, they have. I thought this would be easy, no big deal, 30 minutes. I made the appointment for you at one of our Breast Health Network locations. You know, I asked you to come meet me there, thought we'd be in and out. Hey everyone, all right, so I was hoping for a routine little mammogram and that's not how this went. My heart just sunk because I never in a million years expected, you know, and not just to be a quick and easy, you know, story about, you know, your first mammogram. Man. I was just sure we'd have nothing today. Here we are. Radiologist Dr. Richard Falk found cancerous calcifications in my right breast. So I have breast cancer, um, and I don't have a ton of answers yet, um, but um, I, I'm going to have an MRI next week to confirm exactly what we're dealing with and get a plan of action in place. Because I'm only 40, the doctors um, recommended that I have genetic testing. So I did that. I have already done that. Genetic testing confirmed I do not have any of the genetic mutations for breast cancer. And I wish I could say that that made it a little easier, but it just didn't. This has been hard and um, shocking. It does kind of rock it to your core guys have been really supportive and I appreciate it so much. This is not the news that I was hoping to tell you about to raise breast cancer awareness. Um, but it's what I got. So there we go. Non-invasive ductal breast cancer is one of the most survivable kinds, but there's a catch or at least there was for me because I interviewed surgeon after surgeon and they all said the same thing that I needed to remove Three. my entire right breast to get all the cancer. And I was crushed. It's just your head swimming, right. so you just are trying to process the information and- And why does that matter? Fellowship trained oncology breast surgeon, Dr. Denise Rabel helped me understand mastectomy was my best choice, but I could do just one side and I could keep all of the healthy tissue on my left side where there was no cancer. Most women, I would say right off the bat, when they get a breast cancer diagnosis, they're very anxious. They think that more surgery means a higher survival rate, which it does not. It doesn't matter, I tell ladies, how much cancer or what's going on in the breast. That's not how women die of breast cancer. It's if the breast cancer is spread to some other part of the body. Two months after that first mammogram, I walked into Lakeside Women's Hospital for right side skin sparing, nipple sparing mastectomy, and even though surgery was my choice, it felt like forced mutilation, like cancer was stealing part of my body away from me. It's close to the nerves. Mm -hmm. Plastic surgeon, Dr. Oscar Master scrubbed in and put me back together beautifully. Keeping the most personal part of my body intact was important to me. If it's safe to do for the patient, then more breast surgeons and more plastic surgeons are opting to keep the nipple and areola. Fortunately for you, you had a tumor that was more favorable, so sparing the nipple and areola was a good option for you. I know not everyone's journey is the same, but I know this about my own, that my surgical options, my recovery, and my outcome were all better because my mammogram found the cancer before I even knew it was there. We found this uh, when it was um, not a, an invasive cancer, when it was not a mass, um, when you're most likely to be you know, completely cured. Let's just step right in here. How are you doing? Nervous. Nervous? Yes. 
so what we're going to do, we're going to take two images on the mastectomy side okay. um, just to see the full implant and the little bit of tissue that's left. I will never stop having mammograms and I will never stop telling women I love to take care of their bodies and schedule their mammograms. I think you showed people a really strong and par powerful path for dealing with breast cancer. You know, being informed, getting opinions, knowing your options, then also showing women that not every journey is the same. You're, you're fine. Right Here we are. are. Breast Cancer Awareness Month again. This year, my second annual 3D screening mammogram. And I am thrilled and relieved to tell you, all clear. Looking for everything. Looking for everything, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Allie Meyer. One year so cancer free. See, nervous for nothing. Oklahoma's News 4.